this is Eve Kristoff. This is the Eve's Eden Show, and I'm your Love Life Coach. So, when is it appropriate to be really completely devotionally monogamous? Well, I want to encourage you that if you want it all, you've got to start with monogamy. Because in the life of a romance that's extremely passionate, you want to give your all. You want to open up to places that are so profoundly magical and, and deep uh, that you are safe to keep going and opening and that you are the container for the other person. You are their um, safe harbor. You are also going to be opening into three different important categories. Maybe four, but first is, is and primary is lovers, incredible lovers, right? Oh, just passionate tantra that is so heart opening and so deep that you sometimes, sometimes you're, you're, you're it brought to tears. It's so beautiful and intense. Now, also though, you are going to be best friends. So those are that's people who really tell each other everything and. And, and go on a, a journey together that is real and soulful and um, intimately intricate <laughs> and, and calming and centering and grounding. Uh, and then you are also going to be in probably some kind of domestic partnership, which is the, the marriage place of um, you know life path, life partnership, uh, how your your businesses line up to um, support each other's lives. Um, so here we are in a very, very beautiful romantic place. This is Martha's Vineyard. And um, you, if you're ready for real love, real love, you're going to need to be monogamous, okay? Just just let go of all the other dreams and let this person become more and more because the more devotion you show, the more you give, the more they show up as, truthfully, it's true, they're going to show up as more and more and more because of your faith in your connection and your dedication to uh, knowing this person. Also, if you're pregnant, you know, if, you, if you're going to have a child together, that's a really good time to be very monogamous and really get extremely erotically sensual. Instead of doing the thing of, oh, here, now we're going to family mode and stop being sexual, don't do that. Do the total opposite. Women's bodies, when they are pregnant, are so erotic. We have double the amount of blood pumping through us. Uh, all of our, our lusciousness is just beginning, so I know one woman who, she, she became pregnant and and then her husband was just like treating her like, 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 what, <laughs> Virgin Mary? She's not a virgin, come on! And, and he was like wanting to just not be sensual, and so she needed it so bad to feel her feminine energy. She ended up going and being with women that he's betrayed. But really, you can't leave a woman alone in her birthplace, in her um, erotic nature, you know, you've got to go there with her all the more through the whole journey. So blessings to you and, and take the journey, be really courageous. Uh, monogamy is the way to go when you want to go really, really deep into bliss, pleasure, death, friendship, and passion, <laughs> and friendship. Okay? <laughs> Much love. Subscribe to this channel here on YouTube and send me your uh, questions. And remember, I'm a love life coach. If you're having any difficulties, they will evaporate. I will help you juice it up with incredible love rituals. <laughs> Much love. Love life.